What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today we're diving into Trey AI. It's a 100% free AI powered coding IDE, which is short for Integrated Development Environment. Trey makes coding easy with AI driven code completion, a side chat assistant, and an AI builder that codes for you. Trey is going to be perfect for beginners or pros looking to code. Now with customizable agents, MCP integration, and expanded contexts like web and doc. The best part, Trey is 100% free to use and powered by popular models, including Claude 3.5, 3.7, Gemini 2.5, GPT 4.1, and much, much more. Now, Trey's key features include AI-driven code completion, AI-driven side chat, AI builder, customizable agents, MCP integration, and free access to Claude Sonnet LLM. Now, the link's gonna be in the description as always here, so let's get coding. All right, so getting started. Now, Trey is a desktop-based ID, so you're gonna need to download it. So head on over to Trey.ai. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description, and you're just gonna go ahead and hit the big, huge button here, download tray. So just make sure you follow the steps there and you're going to download it onto your computer and fire it on up. All right, so let's dive in. Now, once you get everything fired up, your screen should look a lot like this. Now, just a quick look at the UI here. It's super modern and super clean. Now, on the left-hand side, you've got a familiar VS Code style editor. And on your sidebar, you've got your Explorer, you've got Search, Source Control, Preview, Debug, Remote Explorer, and Extension Store. And of course, right on over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna go ahead and pick your folder here. So I just got my folder on my desktop here. So I've named my folder Trey AI. So this is a step that you're gonna to have to do once you get going. And then on the right-hand side is your always on AI panel that understands your entire project here. So this is where we're gonna be interacting with Trey here. All right, so the first demo here is gonna be AI code completion. And before we jump in, just a heads up here, I'm not much of a coder myself. So we're gonna keep things super simple and easy to follow along. First things first, we're gonna build a simple app here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the builder here. And we've got Claude 3.5 selected here. As you can see, these are all the built-in models here that you can leverage. All right, so we're gonna enter a simple prompt here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, build a simple rock, paper, scissors game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're keeping things nice and simple. Let's go ahead and hit send here and see what happens. All right, so here we go. Trey has just let us know that they've created a complete rock, paper, scissors game with a modern responsive design. The game includes the following features and it just goes through all the features here and it's just letting us know in order to play the game, we're going to navigate to the index.html file in your web browser here. So we're going to go back to that original file that we selected here and now I have it just on my desktop here. It is called Trey AI. I'm just going to pull it up here and now I have the file right here. Let's go ahead and open it with Google Chrome and let's have a look here. Okay. All right, so here is our game. Of course, we have our rock, paper, scissors game. It is super simple, exactly how I like it. I like to keep things nice and simple here. And it is asking us to choose our move. Let's see how it does here. I gotta go with rock, of course. It's a draw. Okay, let's go with rock again. And I win just like that. Let's try scissors next. It's a draw. And then let's go with paper. All right, I'm 2-0 here with two draws, so doing pretty good. Let's quit while we're ahead here. Gonna go ahead and hit reset game. All right, so there it is, just a simple rock, paper, scissors game in no time at all. And then of course, if you wanna add onto your game, if you wanna add a certain style or a certain look, let's go ahead and do this here. I'm gonna say update the overall style to give it a outer space theme. All right, so as soon as Trey is done with the revisions here, it's letting us know that it has updated the game's design. And all we have to do is come back to our game and we're gonna refresh our game. Look at that. So we have now a nice little space theme here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit rock here and the computer beat me. Let's go ahead and hit paper. And I win that one. And look, I can actually see the uh, UI here just moving slightly, kind of going back and forth just to give it kind of a space movement here. So yeah, perfect. All right, let's jump into a new feature here. So if you come on over to the top, you're gonna have a couple of options here. You can do a new chat, show history, AI management. So if you hit a new chat, this is like doing a brand new prompt. You can think of it like that. Let's go ahead and hit that. So we've got a new chat here. We can actually see the past conversation 
notifications here. So it's right here underneath. I got a few conversations I've had. Of course, most recently, the rock, paper, scissors game. So if I want to navigate back to that, I just go ahead and click right here. We're going to come back to the new chat and we're going to jump into a new demo here. We're going to look at the customizable agents here. Now with Trey AI, you can create your own agents with MCP integration. Now you might be thinking, what exactly is MCP? In Trey, MCP is the model context protocol. It is an open standard that enables Trey's AI agents, customizable agents to connect seamlessly with external tools and data sources. So maybe you want to connect with GitHub, Slack, Google Maps, YouTube. This is where you're going to come to, to be able to do that. Now it all connects via API integration, allowing agents to fetch real-time data or perform actions like testing or debugging. If that is a little bit complicated, that is okay because we're going to jump through things step by step here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click right here at the top and click on the builder with MCP. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create agent right here. And I'm going to call my agent YouTube. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to keep things fairly simple here. So we're going to come down down to the MCP servers here. So we're gonna go ahead and add an MCP server. We're gonna add this right here. This is where you can select your servers. For example, maybe you wanna build a website that leverages real-time data from your YouTube account or your Google Maps account. Of course, we can make a website easily, but MCP comes into play when we wanna get that integration from the third-party applications. For example, if we're using YouTube, maybe I wanna get my videos or my metrics onto a web page. So that is where the integration comes in. So let's do exactly that. I'm going to search up YouTube. We're going to click this right here, the plus button here. And see, this is going to pop this up right here. This is going to be the JSON that we want to select in. All you have to do is come on over to the introduction page right here. Now, to make sense of all this, you're definitely more than welcome to go through all this. It is a little bit uh, technical, but it's not too bad. Basically, just follow all the instructions here. Now, the main thing we want to do is come on over here to the MCP client configuration. See, we're going to click this right here. We're going to copy this right here here. Okay, we're going to go control all, we're going to paste this. And this is where you're going to paste your API key. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab our API key. All right, so in the case of what we're doing, we're gonna grab our API key from our YouTube Google account here. So we're gonna come on over to Google for developers and we're gonna find our secret API key on there. So you're just gonna head over there, follow the steps, do a little digging and you will find your secret API key. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the API key here. I'm gonna block it off because it is a secret key here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm here and I'm gonna say that I understand. All right, so we can see here that our YouTube MCP has been added to our builder with MCP. So we're going to come back to the agents here. We're going to come on over here and put this to the test here. So I just have a prompt here that I'm going to go ahead and pop in. We're going to say this using the YouTube MCP server, create a simple website that displays all videos from my YouTube channel. So the website is going to show a clean grid of video thumbnails and titles. And then I just have a final note here on leveraging HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. And this exact prompt is going to be in the description below. So if you'd like to use it and play around with it, you're welcome to do that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hit send here. All right, so it is letting us know that it has created a modern and responsive YouTube channel showcasing websites for my channel. And I just let Trey know that I wanted a website that just simply lists out my videos and the metrics associated with those videos. So just something super simple here. Now let's take a look. Of course, we're gonna come on down to the index.html website here. And we have our website here. So as we can see, we have our channel name is Devin's on Fire and just some super random videos. We can see that our video is here. We can see how many views there are, the comments, the likes, the engagement. So it's all right here. So maybe you have a website that you're looking to post real-time data on. This is gonna be the perfect way for you to do that. Now let's hop into another feature here. I wanna show off the rules here. So if we click on this, we can click on rules. Now in Trey, you can set rules to regulate the behavior of AI within the platform here. So for instance, we're going to add a user rule. So we're going to go ahead and click this right here. We're going to click a rule. So if I go ahead and plug in this rule here, so use tabs for indentation in all code. Now with this rule in place, Trey is going to format code with tabs instead of spaces across all projects. Now, if we come back to the chat box here and we click on the rules at the top here, we can see our rule is right here. We just got to click on this and it's going to be right over there. All right, so I'm just going to say here, show a quick demo of how 
how my rule is implemented here. All right, so it has successfully implemented our indentation rule across all code files in the project. It's letting us know all files now consistently use tabs instead of spaces for indentation. The functionality of the code remains unchanged. Only the formatting has been updated to meet the specified standards. Now let's come back to our rules here and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this rule. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete it. Just a quick overview of the pricing here. Now Trey is completely free and that gives you unlimited access to Claude 3.5. 3.7, Gemini 2.5, and GPT 4.1 for all features. So there's no credit card needed, just sign up and you can dive right in and start coding. Now, some of the features like high volume API calls may have rate limits, but it's perfect for most projects. Now to put things into perspective here, Trey is completely free with unlimited access. Now, Cursor AI on the other hand has a free tier with limits and a paid pro plan that starts at $20 per month. Now keep in mind, there may be weight queries with the free version of Trey, but the paid version is rolling out by the end of May 2025 which will take care of any kind of weight queries. All right, so there it is. Just a quick wrap up here. Trey delivers AI powered coding, smart debugging, project automation and custom agents all free with top tier models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So whether you're building apps, customizing agents or automating, Trey should be a top consideration, especially if you're on a budget. So make sure to try out Trey.ai. The link is gonna be in the description as always and good luck with your creations.